In today's video, we're opening 10 pack third party blisters from a long time ago. What's up guys, we're back with another old school opening and uh, these are a little bit too large to lay down. It's kind of hitting my tripod, but that's okay. Inside it's GX packs, so it's gotta be pretty old at this point. It's an interesting blister. These were originally $35.99 according to that price sticker, which you guys can't see very well. I'll show you guys like that. $35.99. Inside there are 10 packs. These look to be a Canadian product. So we have a Canada address right there. A little bit dusty in there. Okay, a little dust action. That means they've been in there a while. That's a good sign, I guess. We got glass, we got power of the duelist, cyber dark impact, tactical evolution. These are first dead packs too. And then uh, you get a couple foils like Zero the Mant from premium packs. So I guess that came out in 2008. So these are at least from 2008 or newer, but not that much newer because we're looking at first dead packs. So I'm guessing they're pretty old. But before we open them up, we do have a giveaway. I'm giving away these four cards Heavy Storm, Demise, King of Armageddon. We have an Invader of the Darkness secret rare and a thousand dragon secret rare. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite pack in any of these. There's a lot of GX options. Duels pack, anybody? Okay, obviously not. So we have two of these. So it's a total of 20 packs. There are different packs in these, but there's like glass. We got tactical evolution. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. So we'll just do one at a time. Let's start off with the zero, the man one that we checked out earlier. All right, here are, we get foils apparently. So I guess they're both in here. We got a zero, the man. I'm guessing another premium pack hollow. Uh, okay, no, it's just another special edition promo from Force of the Breaker. So, okay, that can give us, I think that was 2007 when that came out. So that doesn't give us really too much info on the date. Zero is really cool. If this was secret rare, this would be amazing. But yeah, just the super rare version. Uh, I like how they just put it in a sleeve, which is pretty funny. Then we have our packs, which contain Power of the Duelist. That's unlimited. We've got a Duelist pack, Jaden Yuki, Gladiators of Soul First Dead, eh? Magic formula, something like that. We got Tactical Evolution. We're going to get a Ghost. We have Jesse Anderson, Force of the Breaker, First Dead. Another Tactical Evolution, Cyberdark Impact, Cyberdark Impact, Power of the Duelist Unlimited. So for some reason, Power of the Duelist is the only Unlimited. Let's start with Cyberdark Impact because, you know, it's the least exciting. Unless this is a hobby pack, which let's look. I don't actually know this one off the top of my head. So you guys know now if you want, you know, if you know those off the top of your head or if you want to look it up, if the, these are hobby or not, maybe we'll find out and pull a Cyberdark Dragon Ulti. If we did, that would probably be the craziest pull ever because it's one pack. We have Abaki, we have Chain Detonation, Dark Lucian. If we get any ultis out of these or secrets, we're going to be happy. Bear Statue of the Heavens, no thank you. Straight Flush. We got Stray Asmodian and a Combo Master. Started off with just a rare. All right, Power of the Duelist Unlimited. We have opened many Power of the Duelist before, but not a ton of Unlimited, actually. We had, we had a lot of first dead that we've opened up on the channel. Unlimited, I wouldn't be mad if we pulled an ulti in Unlimited either. That'd be pretty cool, especially if it's a Dark Neos, Flare Neos, something like that. Destiny Mirage, we have a Bite Lawn. Decoy Roid, a Fossil Excavation. Alien Gray, D-Spirit. Flying Saucer and oh, Cosmic Horror Gengiel. I actually just sold this in ulti on uh, TCG the other day. So interesting to see that. It's always fun to open these uh, old like third party blisters because you at least have a strong hope that they are on weight. So it's like, okay, they've been in this blister for a long time. What They were repackaged originally. So, you know, something could happen at that point, but unlikely in 2007, people were like weighing these kind of packs over limit, which it is really hard to weigh at like these kind of, that's like the poly, but like, not really. We have a uh, Neos Alias and Mirror Gate. So nothing in that Jade and Yuki three pack. Not that I think you can really pull anything at all out of that pack. It's pretty bad. Okay, we're going to circle back to Cyberdark Impact. Save the big ones for the end. Uh, we're going to do the Duelist packs, probably the Duelist Cyberdark Impact stuff. We've opened a lot of first and we're going to save the big ones for after. We have a Linear Accelerator Cannon. We got a Baki. Let's get an Ultimate Rare. We got Detonation. We got Dark Lucius no level four. Ritual Foregone. Combo Fighter. The Flame Ogre. We have a Vanity's Call and... Oh, another rare. We are over so far. It is not a great start. We do have one more duelist pack and a power of the duelist. Let's do these. Jesse Anderson, Crystal Beast, anybody? I know you guys love Crystal Beast. Here we go. Triggered Summon. I think it's the next card. Amber Mammoth. Here we go. Let's see. A Topaz Tiger. Ah! <laughs> Groovy Carbuncle. Okay. They just all got like four reprints. So I'm guessing the commons aren't really valuable. Okay. But now we're on to the real stuff. Okay. We've got, well, I guess technically we have one more power duelist. Then we have one glass, glass pack, two tactical evolution, one force of the breaker. I mean, that's fun stuff. Power of the Duelist, I'm not overlooking you. I promise. I promise I'm not overlooking you. There's going to be something good. We have four from the back. We have Defender. We have Blade Master. Common Soul. Destiny Mirage. We have Wonder Garage. Elemental Hero Neos. D Spirit. We've got the Flying Saucer Musik. And oh, a Dogma. Our first foil of the opening. Destiny Hero Dogma. 
Very nice. Hey, I mean, technically not our first foil because we did have two right here. So I guess we have three now, technically. Okay, the big ones. We do have two tactical evolutions. So let's do that one first. First ed tactical evolution could have a ghost rare rainbow dragon. It could have elemental hero dark bright boom. Cool stuff. Let's see if we can pull them. We pulled this rainbow dragon. I think it was like three years ago at this point. One, two, three. I think it's four. I don't want to risk it. Let's do three. We have alien shock trooper. Very cool. Reverse of Neos. This is a very small set. I remember seeing these a lot. Ravitic Orb. We have the next. Crystal's Larva. The Venom Burn. Come on, Ghost Trier. We have Venom Serpent. Come on, come on, come on. Destructive Draw. All right. And... Oh, it's a double summon. I think this is still a money uh, rare, but, you know, by money, I mean a dollar. Okay, okay. Not what we were looking for. Can we get a big foil? Force of the Breaker first, Dad. We opened an entire blister box the other day. Go watch that. I mean, 20 different blisters were open first, Dead Force of the Breaker. If you want to see more GX action after this, I'll probably have my GX playlist shared, uh, which is, you know, just all GX stuff. I think it is this, but I'm just going to do that. All right, we have a Volcanic Scattershot. We have Crystal Rye Gank. Let's get an Ultimate Rare. Secrets of the Gallant. We got a Secret Rare in that other video, so let's see if we can do that again. Blaze Accelerator. Mass Hypnosis. Very cool. Myco, Master of Barriers. We have Crystal Promise and... Volcanic Shell, which now is a 25th anniversary rare for some reason. All right. We are officially one for eight on this opening. We have Glass and ta Tactical Evolution. I guess we'll do... Let's just save Glass. Glass just has so much potential. First Ed, man, it's a little bent up. Maybe that means... Maybe it means there's something good inside. I don't know. Probably not, but we'll find out. So it was four from the back here on the last one. One, two, three, four. I think that's what we do. We have a Shadow Delver. If we just flipped over and there's a Gosher on the front, that'd be crazy. We have Penny, Strike Slash. We have a Goggle Golem, Phantom Cricket, Nex, Crystal's Larva. We have Venom Burn. And is it the next card? Oh, Phalanx Pike. All right. This thing did me in against Simo in an auction series episode a couple years ago. I do remember that, but uh, no foil. We're saving the best for last. We could get an Error Ghost Rare, regular Ghost Rare. You could get Magic Formula. You could get Necroface. There's so much potential in here. I've never had good luck with it on the channel. Now's the time to start. Got a little bit of the waxy back. I think it's four, but just to be safe, we're gonna do that. We have swing of memories. Come on, give us a memory that we'll remember forever. All right, memory, that's what you do. Nimbus memory. We have these six samurai. Fog control, come on. Gambler of Legend, make it a top pull of the year. Light imprisoning. We have an unfortunate report and <laughs> defensive tactics. This is always the super rare we pull. It's also an ulti, so that would have that would have been awkward. But hey, we at least got a foil. We went two for ten out of there. That's not great. Not to worry. We have one more to open up, so hopefully the ratios are a little better. All right, here we go. Our second set of hollows. The only thing you really don't know out of these blisters, which is interesting, is the second hollow because you can see all the packs normally they'll keep some hidden and like secret there's no sort of mystery to these except the second hollow which is a necro valley which actually might be valuable because necro valley is like crazy money at this point from what is this dl3 i have no idea what this is duelist league that's actually probably a kind of a rare version of this i don't think i've ever seen a dl3 abbreviation before all right so that's pretty fun also in this one there's no duelist packs there's cyber dark impact there's power of the duelist unlimited there's two force of the breaker two tact levelish and two glass so we just get a bunch of good stuff out of this which is exciting now we just need some good pulls here we go bad pulls in the first one our chances are here and now for the second one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We have By Road Sacrifice. We have Barrier Statue, Linear Accelerator, Abaki, Barrier Statue, Chain Strike, Barrier Statue again. Come on, Justy Breaker. And oh, a Flash of the Forbidden Spell. I've once pulled an ulti and I think it got a nine when I graded it. Okay, Cyber Dark Impact. Let's just do the second Cyber Dark Impact back to back. Let's do that. We're going to go straight through, I think, because we got some good stuff here. They're all pretty exciting, even the ones that we've opened a lot. One, two, three, four. Can we get that Cyber Dark Dragon? We have Infiltrator, Counter Cleaner, Allure Queen Level 3, Bear Statue of the Storm Runs. That used to be money. I don't know if it still is. Combo Fighter, Flame Ogre, Vanity's Call. We have the Cyber Ogre and... Oh, an Ultimate Rare! Degenerate Circuit! Okay, so these appear to be retail packs, so at least these Cyber Dark Impact are. Uh, degenerate circuit. Okay. It is an ulti. Probably not crazy value, but hey, I'm taking an ulti. I said I wanted an ulti, so there's a plus. If we can get a second one, that'd be great. All right. Power of the Duelist. Let's see if we can pull back to back ultimate rares because out of this set, it's uh, ultras and ultis are the high rarity, basically. So there's not a ton. We have Alien Hunter, Brainwashing Beam, Miracle Jurassic Egg, Mausoleum. We have Alien Gray, D Spirit, Flying Saucer. 
We have Elemental Hero Neos, and we've got a Chimera Tech over Dragon, which, by the way, this is an ultra. It kind of looks like a rare. This is an ultra rare Chimera Tech over Dragon. Hey, we've been hunting for this card in Ultimate Rare, so technically this doesn't end the hunt, but this is really cool. It's a very subtle ulti. Is this like a European pack or something? Looks a lot different for some reason, but hey, Ultra Rare, not Ultimate. Very cool. Did I say subtle ulti? I meant to say subtle ultra. All right, second pack. So we've got an ulti and an ultra, which by the way, an ultra out of this set is one in 24. Ultis are one in 12, so it's actually harder to pull an ultra than it is an ulti. So hey, we're on a hot streak right now. Let's see if we can go back to back, see if we can get an ulti here instead of an ultra. We have Destiny Mirage, let's go. We have Destiny Hero Blade Master, Crop Circles, Rallus, Black Terra, Flying Saucer, Paths of Destiny. We have D Spirit, and we have a Alien Warrior Rare. Still six packs left. We have Force of the Breaker first dead. There's some really cool ultimate rares in this set. There's also secret rares in this set. All the last three uh, sets here actually do have secret rares, unlike the other uh, GX sets we were just opening. Terrible deal. Okay, let's give us a good deal here. Let's pull something crazy. Volcanic Recharge, Magna Slash Dragon, Blaze Accelerator. We have Mass Hypnosis, Myco Master of Barriers. We have a Sky Scourge Imbecile. Super, I thought there was two more cards there. There's no uh, no drama in that one. I just threw a sleeve. But hey, we got a super, and this is one of the most subtle supers you can see. It's like the belt and the little like buttons there only. A lot of these are packs you don't see open very often anymore, especially first at GX. I mean, it's really hard to get these these days. So this is a pretty fun opening. It's exciting because it's a third party blister it actually has a good variety of packs inside so overall pretty awesome uh opening hopefully we'll actually get some crazy here to end secrets of the gallant we have volcanic blaster tornado crystal blessing we have hard cell and zombie grab crush dragon wildfire is it the next card oh a secret rare diabolos king of the abyss first edition all right let's go that is one of the best secret rares you can get out of force of the breaker now we're talking all right that is insane centering does not look like it's probably worth grading it's probably going to get a nine if we do that but overall a really cool secret rare that is an amazing pull four packs left let's see if we can get a little secret rare luck out of tactical evolution or ghost rare or ultimate rare let's go i can't believe we got a secret out of one of these that's actually absurd all right, that is amazing. One, two, three, four. I mean, we know they're on Wade, so let's see if we can continue that luck. We have Gravitic Orb, Ambush Fangs. We have a Range, Gatekeeper of Dark World, Cocoon Party, The Dawn, Breaker Gardener, Convert Contact, Dark Effigy. We have Hero Counterattack. Is it next? Oh, a Necro Gardener. Super rare. We're definitely picking up on like at least the ratios of foils here. Lots of supers in here. We got a Secret Rare, Ultra Rare, Ultimate. Man, we've had some We've pulled every rarity out of these except Ghost. We've now pulled Super, Ultra, Secret, and Ulti. We just need that Ghost Rare. Tactical Evolution, Rainbow Dragon. This would be the craziest 10-pack blister ever if we got all of the rarities. That would be absurd. Can we get that Rainbow Dragon for the second time on the channel? Mine got a 9 last time, so I wouldn't mind pulling a PSA 10 or a PSA 7. I wouldn't care. Venom Shot, but it'd be cool to get a 10. We got Pyron, Seizure, Alien Shock Trooper. We got Phantom Cricket, Nex. Crystal's Larva, we have Venom Burn, and we have a Ocean's Keeper. I don't remember this card. I opened a lot of this set, and I do not remember this guy. All right, so pulling the Ghost Rare is going to come down to glass, and guess what? They have an error of Ghost Rare, so I would not be mad to pull that. That would be the first time, I, for sure, I've ever pulled that. I've never even pulled the regular Ghost out of here, so either one would be, like, ridiculous. Lighting is Assault, always a weird set to open up. Uh, a lot of times they are messed with, but I'm, it seems like these are pretty legit. Cloudy Nimbusman. Release from stone. Let's see what we can get. Gliding turbulence. Look at all that edge wear on the side of these cards. You can see it right there. Crazy edge wear on some of these commons. Contact out. I think it was the contact out that had them. Divinity dart. Swift strike armor. No, maybe it's this one too. Chamber of the Six Samurai. And we have... Oh, a Cell Explosion Virus. Also very off-center. Look at this. Very large and very small at the bottom. Okay, our final pack. This has been a really fun opening. I mean, we're lucky to have gotten a secret rare, so it's gone really well, I would say. If we get, like, you know, something crazy out of here, it'd be the perfect ending. Let's see if we can end it with an amazing Gladius Assault pull. I've never had good luck with it. Now's the time to start, right? Now's the time. We have Cloudy and Turbulence. We have the Soul Devouring Bamboo Sword. Gladiator's Return. Stealthroid. Infinity Dark. Swift Strike Armor. We have the Chamberlain of the Six Samurai, also very miscut. We have the Fog Control, and finally we have another Defensive Tactics! You can't make this up! The same card! Oh my gosh, this card, I think they seeded like a hundred of these per booster box. 
you literally are guaranteed to get at least one every time you open a pack of gladiators assault but hey it's a foil we'll take it and if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this not bad, honestly. Pretty good. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.